So it's very clear that I think we can learn a lot from the prophets, but I'll wrap it up with this one. Um, the prophets also teach us what it means to be aware, right? What does it mean to be aware of the divine, of God, um, and what it means to be aware of our surroundings? Um, I'm thinking about Ezekiel right now, when Ezekiel's communicating with God, the story goes, he's communicating with God, and um, Ezekiel goes, there's a car to my left with loud music, and I'm very aware of that right now. But um, Ezekiel is communicating with the divine, right? And God is like, yo, Ezekiel, what do you see? And Ezekiel, you know, answers, you know, I see uh, <laughs> my people who look like dry bones. And even in this story and in other stories of the prophets' um, interaction with the divine, the prophets are aware of God, of the divine, but they're also aware of the reality of the situations around them. I think for some of us, um, you know, we can be tempted to become unaware or to become numb by what we see, right? The prophets teach us to look at what we see, to name it, to be very clear about what's going on, or what we, um, what we hear, what we discern, what we experience. It's okay to name it, but also, again, to imagine something that's different. But it's a particular kind of faith or belief um, that the prophets help us lean into um, to be able to, to experience and to name what we experience, even when it's not pretty, right? But to have this hope and this faith and this belief that with the help of the divine, that we humans can create something different. Maybe that's the lesson that, that we can learn from the prophets. And I'll, I'll close with that lesson. I won't, I won't share any more lessons we can learn from the prophets. Um, but I invite you this week, look around and name what you see and what you're experiencing.